In this project, we'll show you how to build an LED physics toy. These LEDs interact with motion and looks like they're affected by gravity. An Adafruit LED matrix displays the LEDs as little grains of sand, which are driven by sampling an accelerometer with an Adafruit feather. The code, written by Philip Burgess, simulates physics by calculating collisions and terminal velocity. You can check out the Arduino sketch on the Adafruit GitHub repo. We designed and 3D printed a special enclosure to allow the circuit to teeter back and forth. We also made a gyroscope so you can spin it on different axes. The 3D files are free to download and you can get the electronics from Adafruit. If you'd like to build this project, check out the full tutorial on the Adafruit learning site. We'll start by measuring and cutting wires for connecting the components. A slide switch is used to tie the enabling ground pins so we can turn the circuit on and off. We suggest using heat shrink tubing to prevent the pins from shorting. You can use the side of your soldering iron to heat and shrink the tubing. To make the assembly as simple as possible, the LED matrix and feather are hand wired. Solder the wires from the bottom side of the board to make it easy to attach. 30 gauge silicone coated wires are really nice because they're both flexible and durable. The accelerometer is wired in the same way and mounted on top of the feather with the 3D printed mount. A 3D printed spacer will join the feather and LED matrix with machine screws. A small LiPo battery is safely fitted between the two boards with just enough space for the wires. This circuit sandwich is fitted inside the enclosure and secured with additional machine screws. Install the slide switch to the enclosure by pulling out the tab so it can be snap fitted. The cover is also snap fitted and locks onto the enclosure. To attach the gyroscope, line up the pins with the dimples and just press them together. It's easy to add more grains of LEDs by adjusting the code so you can play around with different variables. We think this is a fun way to interact with LEDs and hope this inspires you to play with different sensors.